On this episode of The Wild Table, we're off to a crack of dawn start, because it is opening day of New Zealand's duck season. Something we've been impatiently waiting for, so join us and Charlie the fabulous bird dog on a gun-blazing, feather-busting adventure into the stunning Misty Marshes. Needless to say, the ducks came in hot. It is opening day for duck season. So we're in the Mai Mai. I've got Kate and Chris and of course Charlie, trusty Labrador. Um, we're about sort of 15 minutes away from uh, legal shooting light. So we're all set up and um, pretty much just gonna hunker down and wait for the light to come up and wait for the birds to come in. Um, looking like a pretty promising year. Um, we've been sort of coming into the Mai Mai for the last uh, few weeks and been really good numbers on the pond. So we're pretty amped, pretty excited, and uh, pretty hopeful that this year we're going to be able to limit out on, on opening day. But we'll see. We're just pumped to be here. Circling around and it's all good. No rush. Yes. Yes. Nice. Well done. How much did you give that, Chris? Right at it. Right at it. Right well, at the head. Really? Okay, maybe we're fucking overly. Right. Yeah. I always shoot miss in front of that. Mm. It just doesn't feel right with the thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes! <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Come find the bird. How'd it go, Charlie? Bring it here. There's somewhere still, but at least Charlie found these two. Good start. Alright, so I don't know what time it is, like eight ish or something. But getting a little bit of a tally together, there's a few birds on, on deck. Um, just, just what a pleasure to be out here, eh? Like, we built this Mai Mai, so... It's pretty cool to be out here with two of my good mates and be uh, shooting. And um, there's so many birds around this this opening. Last year was dead. So we're just absolutely pumped. There's a lot, a lot of birds in there, and as you can see, we're starting to rack up a wee bit of a tally. Um, haven't even reached one person's limit yet, though, so lots of shooting to be done. So one of the problems at the moment is that we we had a whole lot of decoys stashed here, but some prick fucking took them. So basically all we got at the moment is two decoys, one like a robo duck making a lot of movement, which is definitely helping because the birds are circling and looking at it. But um, the bulk of our spread is all gone, so it doesn't help because you don't want you want the decoys on the water for the birds to feel like they want to come in where there's other birds on the water. Um, so I think, hopefully, <laughs> Chris has offered to um, shoot into town at some point, pick up a few more decoys so we can at least have a little bit of a spread on the water. Just beauty, eh? 
There's nothing, there's nothing like working with a dog. That's just, to me, it's the most satisfying relationship you can have with an animal. Is to have it um, hunt with you. Good job, good girl. Hey. So a couple of real nice um, mallets here, a few drakes and a few hens, which is the predominant number of uh, ducks in New Zealand are mallets. Uh, not like the US, we don't have quite as many different species, but <coughs> most of the ducks in New Zealand are all mallets. Um, we're allowed to shoot, shoot six each per day. Uh, we're also allowed to shoot six paradise ducks per day and then two shoveler ducks, which is sort of the slightly more rare species in New Zealand. That sort of makes up pretty much what we're hunting here. There's a few other duck species, but you're actually not allowed to shoot them. Um, so yeah, so far we've just got all mallets, which is unsurprising. And yes, yeah, it's, it's looking good out there. There's, there's still a fair few birds in the sky. It's awesome. They're responding to the calling. They're coming to look for the couple of decoys that we have, even though we've only got the two. But yeah, so that's already one person's limit. Um, but we've still obviously got two shooters, so we're allowed to get another um, 11 ducks. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking we might be able to, to take that out for today. Just a, a little bit of a lull here for a minute, so I'm gonna take the boat in the water and take the dog across and see if she can pick up a few of the dead birds that made it into the bushes. Because so there was at least two or three that died. And, and pick him up. Where's the bird? Go find it. Ladder girl, go find it. Ladder girl, Charlie. Ladder girl, inside. Go on. That was um, one duck. Uh, that definitely went in there before. Hey, good girl, Charlie. Good job, Charlie. Bring it here. Good job, Charlie. Ah, oh, yes. Freaking awesome. Good girl, Charlie. I well, we would have uh, crawled in there and died. Um, but when, when I sent Charlie in there earlier, he was still alive. So she wouldn't have, wouldn't have liked to have gone in there. She doesn't like picking up the live birds. She does. She doesn't love it. So that's freaking awesome. Good girl, Charlie. Good job. <laughs> right, there's so many checking it out. I know. Just, just a fucking few more decoys in the water, yeah, eh? And I think that. Because if they passed once or twice more, we would have been taking mm. shots. But they're just not quite. Just a little bit. They're definitely like all right of the robo yes. decoy. Eh? Just yeah. seeing that movement. King. So we've been looking for the uh, supposedly stolen decoys. Someone was doing a boy look. <laughs> a girl found the ducks. Uh, I'm afraid she's telling the truth, but the cool thing is now we have lots of decoys. Putting out decoys? Before the boys get back. Yeah, and then we're gonna <laughs> act like they were out here all along. Like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have a good laugh at this. <laughs> Not only did I have a man look, but I also jumped to conclusions. <laughs> Neither one of those things are great. So good that you guys got some extras. That's wicked. Better than paying 240 bucks for another set of things. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> no shit! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> huh, where did those ducks come from? Well, it turns out that Chizzy may have been the only one looking properly. <laughs> I think between a bit further away in the clear water, yeah. but closer to the far bank. Right, gotcha. I think and that way they're gonna land, hopefully this side of them. Okay, cool. Yep. So pop a few in here, then we can have the robber, the robber duck here. Yeah. Yep. And maybe another land decoy here. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> 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 
a duck on the water. I'm trying to get it to come up. <laughs> yelling at it, throwing at it. I could just one fucking lift up out of the spread. So we're just getting into the afternoon now. We've just turned the decoy back on. We've, we've actually tightened the um, the decoy spread a little bit as well and pulled it in because we were finding that the birds were landing like right amongst the decoys. So we needed to bring it in a little bit to, to um, get them a little bit more into that lethal range. So it's just after three now. So from now to about six, should be a few more birds on deck. Another beautiful mallard hen. Cade the uh, boldest one of the sky as well. Just all awesome. Beautiful. So we're on, um, I want to say probably what the last like, 20 minutes of light. Just put another three down. We've got, we got five more that we're allowed, so be bloody awesome to tag out on day one. I'm hopeful that we'll get five more. It's just, it's been on, like, it's been so freaking awesome. Oh my god, what a it's been! So awesome! We're just on that last light, but I, I want to try and collect these ducks in the water. There's four in the water. So I'm trying to get them out before it starts getting too dark to see. Um, especially because a couple of them are sort of seeing. kicking, but it's, it's just so fucking cool to see all the action, all the birds coming in. I'm really excited to come back here tomorrow morning and just give another crack. We're also going to change the decoy formation a little bit. We're going to bring them in just ever so slightly more because they're landing like right in the spread. Sorry. No, you're seven. Yeah, you're seven. Yeah, seven. How many seven? Five. Twelve. Twelve. Right. Six. Six. Okay. Did you record that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've done the math. <laughs> right, cool. So um, that was opening day 2022, which was miles better than opening day 21. <laughs> Man, I don't think we saw this many ducks in the entire season last year. No, night. exactly. That was freaking awesome. We were too shy of tagging out. Um, man, what a day, fellas. Awesome. Yeah, epic day. So rewarding. Put a lot of time and effort into this. Not only the Mai Mai, but 
just coming out on the actual hunting side of it too last season so to come out first day oh, and basically yeah. hit our limit is, is pretty unreal we figured out how to do the spread and thanks to your kind friend we got now we got enough decoys we've got moving decoys you figured out the calling it's all coming together to just be working out beautifully way more water in the pond this year as well pretty yeah. freaking right with that Sorry, bit of <laughs> this will have to be the best shooting opening morning yep. i've ever had i think yeah, yeah is, honestly yep that is a, a big boon what a day yeah all right um i reckon let's get these ducks home and yep. uh, you see us back here first thing in the morning and uh yeah. i reckon we're good to go away. i think so charge some batteries and yeah get some sleep sounds good man perfect <laughs> awesome man cut that was the start to our duck season an action-packed adventure I had been fantasizing about for years, literally. And obviously there's some meals and recipes brewing in the back of my mind that I cannot wait to try out and share with you. But for now, this is it. And as per usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to like and subscribe. It does help us to create more and better content.